Hey everyone, it's Kaz, and today is the 5th of November. Remember, remember the 5th of November. But it also is the start of what I hope is going to be a pretty consistent series of weekly reading vlogs. I did this for a month back in April when I posted a video every day and I really enjoyed it. And I've been thinking about doing weekly reading vlogs for a little while now. And I decided to bite the bullet. I'm gonna do it. I've been getting really lazy with my reading lately. I've been playing a lot of Sims and a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So I feel like me vlogging might hold me a little more accountable with my reading. And I just need to reprioritize everything. So I had work today and I started out by listening to a little bit of Mythos by Stephen Fry here and there. So a little bit in the morning when I got myself some breakfast. And then there were a couple of tasks that I did today, one of which was wrapping up some copies of Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon and getting those ready to be sent out to some bloggers and Instagrammers. So that was really cool. During that time I continued listening to some more of the audiobook. This is an audiobook I've been listening to for a few months now. It's just one that I kind of listen to on and off between other things. And then on the bus home I started reading Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. I'm already in love with Marcella, <laughs> can I just say. At the moment I am 28 pages in and I have been annotating this one. I'm tabbing it and writing in my book as well and I'm really, really excited to continue reading this. I need to go back in and underline a few things. I've got this really handy like ruler bookmark that I uh, bring with me for books that I'm annotating, but I forgot to bring it with me today. So I need to go back and underline a few things. Aside from that, this evening I'm going out to dinner with one of my friends. Then after that, I need to upload my book haul for October. I think that's about all that I really need to update you on at the moment. I'm just waiting for my friend to come and get me. So I might squeeze in like five or so pages. Oh, I also forgot to bring my glasses with me today. So I was struggling. I didn't get to read too much because like every, <laughs> every minute or so, I'd slowly find myself with the book here because I can't see what I'm reading. I'm gonna go squeeze in some reading before I go out to dinner. Sorry you're getting the gross face right now but um I didn't vlog anything yesterday and I've been feeling like shit today. As you can probably tell I'm getting sick. Um, which is not a lot of fun. <laughs> which is not a lot of fun, sorry. Just dropped the glad wrap. I didn't do too much reading yesterday, and I didn't do any reading on the bus today because I didn't feel well. I didn't feel like I could really focus, so not much to update you. Last night after work, Alex came over and we just watched a little bit of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and then passed out at about 9.30. So, uh, yeah. It's, it's been a little boring. Work has finished and we're just about to head off. Um, it's one of my co-workers farewell, so we're going out for a couple of drinks. It's uh, Thursday, <laughs> I'm still sick. Since I last updated you, I went out and had dinner and a drink or two for a co-worker's farewell. And then pretty much went straight to sleep. I went over to Alex's and then we watched like an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I passed out pretty much straight away. And then had work all day today, struggling a little bit. It's getting kind of head coldy, which really sucks, but I'm just really trying to fight it. And, on my lunch break today, I FaceTimed with Red, and I've been reading her Crooked Kingdom, but because my throat's sore, I haven't wanted to speak solidly for an hour. Num number one, because it would hurt, but also, I don't think I could do it, and it probably wouldn't do me wonders for my voice. Like, I started losing my voice last night. So Red has been reading Crooked Kingdom to me the past couple of days, and we managed to get through a decent chunk of it today. It sucks being sick. <laughs> And then on my commute today, I did read a little bit more of Vengeful on the way to work, but just because uh, my sinus is blocked and everything just kind of hurts a little bit, it's, I find it really hard to focus for a long period of time. So my reading hasn't been going super fast this week. I'm just making a 
teensy bit of progress with Vengeful, a teensy bit of progress with Mythos, and a teensy bit of progress with Crooked Kingdom. So it's been a bit of a slow week. I feel, I feel kind of sad that the first week that I'm jumping into the reading vlogs on hopefully a really consistent basis is when I'm like sick and not reading much. At the moment I am just finishing up editing my Tome Topple video, the announcement video. The round seven is coming up on the 16th and um, I'm also playing The Sims. <laughs> Also, I couldn't find my library card for the longest time and I recently went to renew my library card and like the old one that I had was probably about 10 years old. So I got a new library card, like an updated one that's more in line with their new systems or something like that. And that meant I had a new library card number. So the one that I memorized when I was logging in on Overdrive to borrow audiobooks was no longer my login so I had a quick look through my wallet and I was like oh the library card's not here because I was thinking of the old color that the card was and then came home today and was looking in all these places being like okay I can't find it anywhere looked again in my wallet my library card's just chilling there it's just a different color than I was expecting that I was used to I found my library card I've got my library card number and I've logged into overdrive and I've got about 20 audiobooks that I'm interested in borrowing. Between those <laughs> and what I have on my Audible account, I think I'm just gonna kind of keep scrolling through and seeing if anything jumps out at me in the moment to take my fancy because Mythos is not one that I want to just listen through solidly. It's not like a solid story. Like it, there's all the different legends and stuff within it and it's it's good to like pick out here and there. So I want I want to start listening to another audiobook. I just can't decide which one now. Yeah, got Overdrive, got Audible, see what's taken my fancy, what I've got available on either option. Hopefully I'll figure something out to listen to tomorrow because tomorrow I'm hoping to send out quite a few of the Kingdom of Ash pre-order pins. We've got lots and lots of pins to send out and that's a, it's a pretty mindless task like sticking labels on, putting a pin in, licking the envelope, sticking the return label on. So I can do that while listening to an audiobook so I think I might set out a chunk of time tomorrow to listen to something, whatever I decide, while doing that, while doing a bit of the mail. It's getting a little bit late, but as you guys would have seen, I started listening to The Girl in the Nightingale. So far, I am really enjoying it, but <laughs> I'm struggling to follow along a little bit with how many characters that we've been meeting. So after I finished, I can't remember if it was like chapter six or something like that, I had to stop and like do a little investigating and draw up a family tree and what's everyone's relationships to each other, who's marrying who, who's related to who, in what way. I confused these cousins and I thought there were two princes in one place when it was only one and there was one in a different place. It, I was just very confused so I had to actually sit down and f figure out what was going on. But I've got that sorted so I think I'm all good now. So I've listened to about two and a half hours worth of that. I'm listening to it on 1.75 speed. I read some more of Vengeful on the bus ride to work today. My mum actually has taken my dad to the hospital. It's not like an emergency or anything but there's no doctor's offices open this late so they wanted to get something checked out. Fingers crossed that is all good. I'm not really too stressed but also, at the same time, I'm just like, mm, low-key worried in case there is something. It's 11 o'clock right now, and even though my voice is still kind of croaky, I'm feeling better. Contemplating reading a bit of Vengeful tonight, but I think I'm a little tired for that. Good morning. Uh, my face is a little puffy and stuff this morning. I apologize. I've been chatting to the Bibliothon girls because we're supposed to be doing our live show today. However, there's a lot of people that are sick. There's like hectic fires in California. It's not looking like there's many of us who can still do the live show. So we may be rescheduling until we hear back from a couple of them. I do need to film some stuff today. I've got to film the Bibliothon announcement video clips which is very exciting. So you'll be seeing those videos very soon. I put into my little calendar some videos that are gonna, like that are really time consuming, but alas, 
Those are certainly not happening. <laughs> yeah, this week's been a little bit hectic. Next week is also hectic. Fuck. I'm going to put my face on so the puffiness doesn't look quite as bad. Um, and I'll update you guys in a little while. Don't mind my half done face. I just got an exciting text from a friend. So I just had to update you guys. First of all, dad's all good. All clear. Secondly, I think the live show is going ahead. That's in like an hour and 15 minutes, which gives me enough time to go to this really, really awesome hole in the wall place that I'm really excited about. So basically my friend texted me being like, what are you doing? And I texted her being like, I am kind of busy getting ready for a live show and some videos, but if you say Poke Bowl, I will drop everything. And you, you can guess what she said. We're going to be going and getting poke bowls. This is the place we went to on Monday. I've literally been thinking about those dumplings ever since. They are the fucking best. And she's like, we can pre-order them and take them away so you can get back in time. And I'm like, you're the best. Okay, I'm going to finish putting, like, setting my face. And I'll just put a little bit of mascara on and I'll finish my makeup when I get back. Because lunch. Oh, I'll show you guys. It's so exciting. I'm so excited. I'm back home now. I just finished doing my face and I'm about to get ready to film a video. And the video that I'm going to be doing today, in addition to the Buy a New Bibliothon announcement clips, is how I annotate my books. This is a video that you guys have requested so, so much, especially in all of my reading vlogs. So I'm giving you what you want. I'm going to be filming that video today. I haven't done any reading today and I suspect I will not be doing any reading later today. So, oh actually no, that's a lie. After I finish filming, I'm going to head to Alex's work. I'm not going to be driving because I'm planning on having a few drinks tonight. So I'm going to be getting a bus and then a train. But tonight we're going to Holy Moly, which is like a putt part course in a bar. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. And like I said, I'm going to be having a few drinks, so I won't be reading later tonight. to lunch and I'm taking Alex and some of the guys to the same place I went to yesterday with my friend to get the same dumplings. I'm probably hyping it up so much that you'll just be like eh. So on my way to meet Alex yesterday I continued reading some more of Vengeful and I listened to a little bit more of The Bear and the Nightingale but I've left my copy of Vengeful at Alex's. Along with her wallet and her glasses. Yes. But holy moly was so fun. Oh, it's fucking mad. We had to run upstairs and annoy some people with a little putting just so we could take a photo on the Simpsons couch. Because <laughs> it wasn't, a, we only did half of the course and it didn't include the Simpsons living room area. How good are the dumplings? Oh, they're very good. They're the best oh, dumplings I've actually ever had. So good! I am back home now. I've just had some dinner. Alex is still at our friend's place. I hung out there for a little while as we watched Back to the Future and then just some like fail and funny compilation videos. I'm going to put on The Bear and the Nightingale and I'm going to clean my room <laughs> because it is a mess. It's actually ridiculous and it's starting to irritate me quite a lot. So I'm going to do a bit of tidying up. If I have some time before I have to pick up Alex, then I'll probably also start editing this vlog. But priorities, reading, because I haven't done too much reading this week. Um, that's what I'm going to do. It is Monday. The vlog should be over by now, but I decided to extend it a day, maybe two, depending on 
how long it takes me to edit this vlog for a couple of reasons. First of all, the Tome Topple Readathon starts this Friday and I would like to do a Tome Topple reading vlog separately from the weekly reading vlogs and I didn't want to do a weekly reading vlog for only four days. So I thought I'd add an extra couple days onto this one because I did start a new book today. I started reading Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan because that's a book club book and if you guys remember I left Vengeful at Alex's house and also because there was a really really cute puppy and I wanted to show you guys some footage of it sleeping on my chest because it was freaking adorable. Probably not going to make much more progress of this before the Tome Topple Readathon because I need to finish Vengeful by Sunday I think it is. I think that's when the live show is for me. So at the moment we're just chilling. We're about to go and get some Indian kebabs. <laughs> There's pumpkin in my shoe! <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was hilarious! <laughs> He's mean, he likes to tickle me. <laughs> There's some vegetables everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the next generation of shoeies. <laughs> Lamb roast and shoe. <laughs> Ew! We're gonna watch some Death Note because the first time we watched it, we only got up to. I'm not gonna say what it is, but a very, very pivotal moment in the story. And reading the mangas, I didn't like the rest of the series as much from that point onwards. Coincidentally, <laughs> that's also the episode that we didn't get past when watching the anime. So we're gonna try re watching it. Do you think we'll get past it this time? Think mm, we'll no. No, I don't think we'll continue watching faster, honestly. Death Note! I forgot probably the best reason why I should continue vlogging for the next couple of days. Tomorrow, I'm taking Alex to go to the Sydney Marcus Zusak event. He's not as excited as I am. He's a little excited. He's a little, a little excited. It's like, is this going to be the first book event you've been to? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're coming though because Alex is the main reason why I actually read the book, Thief. You recommended it to me. <laughs> he read the book before I did. Is that why he loves me? Maybe. No. <laughs> I'm not going to freak out like I did last time. Because that took me by surprise. I was at a different author's event and he was waiting in line with his daughter and his daughter's friends. And then I had the biggest fangirl moment. The only fangirl moment I've ever had. What? Who did I fangirl over? I just don't believe you. Not like that. I'm usually like calm and collected. I just don't say anything. I'm like internally freaking out, but this was externally freaking out. late. I sleep. Reading today was minimal. I read a little bit on the train to work. I read some of Vengeful. I read a tiny bit of The Bear and the Nightingale and then I had the Marcus Zusak event this evening. I got a book signed. Wow that's really not a good angle that close. Oh sorry. Came back to Alex's. Watched a couple of episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He's not playing Batman, and I'm falling asleep. So I think I'm going to finish this vlog up now, since the past couple of days have been a little bit slack. Overall, the past ten, nine days, I've made some progress on four books. <laughs> Mythos, and The Bear and the Nightingale, both on audiobook. Vengeful, and Girls of Paper and Fire. Haven't finished anything, but I've made progress with four books. I'm at it again with multiple books. Reading multiple books at the same time. What'd you say? Oops, I'm at it again. <laughs> Can you sing my theme songs? You sing your theme song. Yeah. No, but you can sing them and make them theme songs. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll see you soon in another video. I feel I have more energy. More energy. Down. Up. I want red cordial.
<gasps> you do. Yes. I see you. Bye. <laughs>